Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Now, I like to try and do different things. So what I would do today, what I would do today, what I am I'm going to do today, is help you with, uh, I'll give you a scenario. I've been told by many, many people over the years that one of the biggest things that gets in the way of them relaxing or indeed going to sleep is worrying like a they call it like an overactive mind but worrying about something or someone uh, as an example a problem person let's call them that there's better there's better words for it but someone that has that you've felt has been rude to you maybe someone at work that you you know you're going to see maybe tomorrow or next week you know something that maybe is kind of ongoing the someone that you have no choice about seeing perhaps is at work or maybe uh, it could be someone at church, someone at school, someone at college, someone in your family. It might even be your own kids, you know, who knows. But, or a neighbour. Or maybe a friend, you know, a friend who has said something that's upset you. It could be something... Uh, you know, like you've gone out for the weekend and you've seen someone that you uh, were attracted to, you've gone up to talk to them, maybe in a nightclub or, you know, whatever setting. For me, it would be a, a disco, an 80s disco. And they have perhaps been quite rude to you, rejected you. Okay, that's lots of different scenarios there. And sometimes by just dealing with that one person in your mind can then calm you down to the point where you, first of all, you no longer care about them or that situation. Okay. And when I say no longer care, uh, you know, if, if for example, if it's a family member, you can still you can still care about the person, but you no longer care about that particular incident, that moment in your relationship. You've let go of it. You know, you forgive them, you give them another chance. You don't care about that, but also. When we relax and when we decide to go to sleep, we also do stop caring about anything and everything and everyone. And I know that doesn't fit, doesn't feel right sometimes when you say it out loud like that. But it's not that you, you don't really stop caring about them. Not really. You know, they're your loved ones. They're people you do care about. But in the moment of lying on your bed or in your bed, 
relaxing and just drifting off to sleep. We need to just let go and not, you know, genuinely really, really not care during that time. And as I try and get this idea across, I think some people will get it. Some people will say, okay, I understand. You're saying to not care but or to suspend caring. Doesn't mean you don't care. Of course, you loved your loved ones. That's why they called your loved ones. You don't stop loving your parents or your children or your ferret in my case. My ferret is my loved one. He's my little boy. But when I'm relaxing, or if I'm going to sleep, he heard me. As soon as I mention this, he's he's up running around now, which I don't really want when I'm making a recording. He's already made himself part of the Let Me Boy to Sleep podcast. Now he wants to be part of this one as well, which is not ideal. However, because this is more in some ways of a an active recording this one here it's okay for him to be in the background because even though this you this might not be like the normal recording where you fall asleep although you might do or you know i'm gonna offer you some ideas that can really help. Unfortunately, Andre, the, the ferret, he loves lying on carrier bags because they're comfortable, but they also create a degree of sound whenever he's rolling around in them. I think he does it on purpose. <laughs> so, if you want to know what Andre looks like, go to my Facebook page. And there's, I, p I post pictures of him. I just literally just posted one. He's got his tongue sticking out and he's asleep. It just looks so cute. So, and now he's going to be sneezing. He did that earlier. It's so annoying. So, see. Anyway, it doesn't matter because what we're going to be doing here is dealing with a person who is perhaps on your mind, okay? So you're lying in bed or you're trying to relax and you're thinking about this person that has perhaps been rude to you or you interpreted what they said or their behavior to be dismissing or rude Shut up, Andre. Thank you very much. And it's, it's bugging you. And maybe they were blatantly rude. And you know you have to see them again tomorrow at work. Maybe it's your boss. I've had rude bosses in the past. So how do you deal with that? If it's getting in the way of your sleep. Are you pretending to sneeze, Andre? Stop pretending. He's basically crawled under this jacket. Which is causing him to sneeze. Yet he's still staying there. It's obviously tickling his nose. Weird. So what I want you to do, this is actually an activity, but you haven't got to physically do anything. This is just in your mind, okay? This is you doing this in your mind. Think of someone, and if, if there's nobody getting in the way of you sleeping, um, if it's not like just one person, if there's lots of different sort of things going on, just focus on one person the thing that's perhaps the most annoying to you uh, if you're thinking of a scenario 
that you're expecting to happen or you're reliving something that already did happen maybe earlier in the day or yesterday or last week, whatever. Focus on that person. And just see them, focus, really focus on them. And imagine looking in their eyes. And they're looking at you. And they've just said the thing that they said to you. And just imagine that they're just frozen, okay? You've frozen them. They're not moving, they're just there. Now you can do anything you want with this person. They're frozen. And this this person may have even felt scary to you. Maybe they were physically intimidating. Maybe they felt uh, because maybe they were the boss or they had some kind of control over you that you felt intimidated by them. And that's natural. It's a natural process that goes on between people. If you don't like ferret sneezes, then just stop the recording because he's going to continue. But it's not going to make any difference to the actual recording. Although I should probably just kick him out. Chuck him out a window or something. And no, I wouldn't. He'd get back in and he'd just cause havoc. He already does weird things as it is. So you, you've got this person frozen. This is your boss, family member, whoever it is. Someone that's said something or done something that's upset you. You've got them frozen. You could do whatever you want to them right now. Now we're not going to go down the road of anything weird. Uh, we're going to keep this uh, a positive recording, okay? I can see how it could go in a weird way if you if the person really hurt you and stuff, but let's keep this civilized. Uh, so, I want you just to move the person to the middle of the room. And just look at them. Really look at them. What do you notice about that person? Were they scary before? Are they still scary now? Were they intimidating before? Do you feel intimidated by them now? So they're not moving, they're just stuck there. Maybe it's weird to see them stuck there like that. Maybe it's a little bit creepy. So what you can do is get a big straw hat, okay? covered in fruit, bananas, apples, coconuts, whatever, and stick it on their head. I'm not saying that that, that would make them look less creepy, but it might take away the any kind of negative energy that was there before. So you can just leave that on their head, just to sort of, you know, lighten the mood a little bit as you look at them. Look at their face. Look at their body, look at the front of them, the part that you normally see. Maybe you don't normally look down to their chest or to their stomach or to their knees or feet. And now what I want you to do is just, you can imagine, you can, you know, you don't have to physically touch them or you can allow that person just to rise off the ground and just turn around a little bit and then go back onto the ground and see them from a different angle, see them from the side, an angle that they never get to see themselves from. 
So you just got a side view. You can see their ears, you can see the shape of their nose from a side angle. You can see the shape of their chin. The sh you can see their chest, their stomach, uh, just how their posture is. And just and their hair maybe, if they've got hair. And just noticing how they look. And this isn't about um, making fun of how they look or anything like that. It's just noticing how you feel when you see them from that angle. And now imagine they're just lifting up again and turning all the way around so you can see the back, just the back of them. Again, you may never have seen their back before. Not in a way that you could just study it. And as you just look at the person, this person that's perhaps you used to feel intimidated by or they'd really upset you, you're looking at them from an angle that they've never seen themselves. They can't see the back of themselves. Yeah, they can get someone to take a picture and stuff. That's not the same. It's not the same as like in this moment, live. You know, you can see them. You can see... Uh, the back of their head, you can see their shoulders, you can see their back, you can see uh, their bum, their legs, you know, you can just see the posture. And what feelings do you have, those feelings you had before about that person, how are they changing as you just look at their back, just see the back of them? They're frozen there, they can't move. It's just the back of them. And it's not that they're frozen as in ice, they're frozen in time. You know, that millisecond of their existence is, that's where they are right now, they're frozen. And of course they've still got that hat on, don't forget. That hot hat of straw hat of fruit. And now I'll imagine you know you can just turn them round again to see the other side of them. You know, the, the side view, but the other side view. Which is probably gonna look kinda of similar, I guess but it's going to be from the other side. Noticing how they look, but just noticing how you feel as you focus intensely on them. Just them. Just that person. And then have them turn around to the front again so you can look at them from the front like you were originally. So how do you feel different now as you're looking at them, focusing on them, looking in their eyes, seeing their face, Seeing their posture, their body, the way they're standing, maybe looking at the size, the kinds of shoes they're wearing. And of course, you know, this could be a man or a woman. It's whoever you choose it to be. And just notice. How you feel as you focus on that person. As you try and hold on to that feeling that you had before, but maybe you can't because it's gone, but just notice how you feel now as you focus on that person.
Now, if you want to really have some fun, what you can do is you can get a marker pen, a black, big, black, thick marker pen. And if they're clean shaven, if it's a woman or a man that doesn't have a beard or a moustache, you could draw one on them, you know, underneath their nose. Maybe you could draw some extra eyebrows, you know, right the way across their forehead and stand back and just look at them, see how they look. Maybe, if you want, you could get some clippers, you know, some uh, shearers, clippers, hair cutters, whatever you want to call them, electric ones. And you could just shave a line all the way down the middle of their head, all the way down, shaving a big chunk of their hair out. Of course, you've got to take the hat off first. Maybe leave the hat off if it's funny to see. I suppose you could shave the eyebrows off if you wanted. Just noticing how you feel as you look at that person. How you feel emotionally as you focus on that person now. And perhaps if you step back a little bit, you could see them now wearing big clown shoes. You know, the Big, long, flat ones, maybe red or blue, purple, bright colored, yellow, whatever. Maybe it suits them. So what you could do now is when you realize that in your mind, you have control over what they do. So if you want to, you can make them dance. You can make that person do a silly dance. Just jump up and down, do a silly dance. Turn around, do back flips, do the splits, even though maybe they can't do it and see the look on their face when they attempt it. And just do that now if you want, have a little play. Just get them to do silly things, a silly dance, as you focus on them doing it. And notice how you feel about that person. Notice how you feel when you think about how you used to feel about that person and maybe what they've done or what they said or something that used to bother you in the past. How do you feel about it now? Maybe it's disappeared. Maybe you can't even remember what that feeling was. And you can freeze him again, him or her. What you can do now is just turn the person upside down so they're standing on their head. looking at them, focusing on them, noticing how you feel.
noticing how you feel different. So now you can actually imagine that they're turning into a drawing. But it's not like a normal drawing. It's a drawing on a whiteboard. So they're turning from being who they are into a drawing on a whiteboard. But it's the type of ink that can be removed. And all you do is just get a rag and just wipe them away. So they're gone. And now first of all, notice how relaxed you feel. Notice the, the different feelings of comfort you have in your body. And now notice how your mind feels. The calmness that's now there. And I'd like you just to one last time think of that person again. Just as they were before, you know, before we played around and changed how they looked and stuff. Just think of them as they are in real life. And notice how you feel different now. How you feel differently to how you did before. Just allow yourself to relax even deeper. And if you choose to drift off to sleep, then do that. As I count down from 20 down to 1. Each number you hear you can feel 10 times more relaxed. And if you choose, you can feel 10 times more sleepy. Now, 20. Yeah. <laughs> 
10. Six. 